Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 20th December. Dollar's getting kicked. Uh, as we talked about yesterday after the FOMC, I saw it as pretty neutral, but the bond market saw it as dovish. Oh yeah, now 111.88. Very, very tricky uh, after after the release, after the press conference. Dalian went up to 112.66, uh, which was patently insane considering what bonds were. Euro dollar went down to, uh, I don't know, 111.63, I believe. Again, 64, patently insane. Um, Hopefully you were able to uh, stay short dollars. This looks like the way forward today. Uh, we've got uh, UK numbers and we've got the BOE, which I patently don't give a crap about. Uh, I've given up on sterling. And I'm just focusing on this dollar, yen, and euro dollar today. Equities smoked. We had offers up at 26.20, didn't get done. Um, this looks pretty bad, man. I mean, this looks this looks very bad. Shit just goes left big time. Big risk, I guess, tomorrow for a squeeze on this quadruple witching witch hunt, which is a Eastwick day. Uh, so careful now. Careful now selling stocks at 24, 2486, uh, which is what we're trading right now. This uh, chart is delayed. Anyway, how are we going to make money today? Uh, we're short dollar yen. Now it's a tradable short here, 111.87. You know, we've got bids at uh, 82 and 62. We will be selling again uh, 112.14 and 24. I think we're just going to consider the range today is going to be around 111.62 to 112.24. Like I said, we have sterling numbers, not much else. Uh, I don't even know uh, whether the BOJ press conference is finished or not, but the BOJ is speaking. So let's just, for those of you who, uh, who are paying more attention to it than I am, I'm just trading price here. Um, Keep an eye on your headlines. Kuroda's going to say some shit. Although, typically, he may have already spoken. Uh, sorry that I don't know that, but obviously very late night last night here in Europe, trading FOMC. Uh, anyway, core short dollar yen, uh, core long euros. The big trade and probably the last trade of the year will be euros through 114.40. This this is a break trade, right? I mean, uh, no way to no way to sugarcoat that. Ideally, your core long going into it, you add through one fourteen forty. Um, you get if we clear one fourteen seventy, all of a sudden we're hitting this one fifteen level. I'll tell you what, if we close above one fifteen, um, ring the bell. This uh, will be change of trend, and there's a lot of upside in euro dollar. I would argue it makes absolutely no sense, considering uh, the mess that Europe's in. But, such is life in FX. Thankfully, we trade price first and foremost. We try and make sense of it, but technically speaking, this looks kind of interesting, so keep an eye, keep a close eye on 114.40. We've been waiting to see which side uh, is going to break in euro dollar now for basically a month. And, you know, we have to be, ambiv uh, you have to be ambivalent about, you know, you can't take bias into this. Uh, price will tell you which side is going and, and because we've had this low volatility stuck in this range, uh, we will 
trade with the momentum, whichever side we do break. You know, so it looks like 114.40 is going to go. That said, if for some crazy reason that 112.70 breaks, uh, we will also break trade that. You know, after a compressed range like this, it's a really uh, good strategy to use uh, this break trading methodology. Obviously, I have a certain bias towards that type of trading anyway, but even if you don't, you should take a look at it in this uh, in this kind of environment. Let's look at crude. Bounced a little bit. Crude looks terrible, uh, which is not helping stocks. Um, cross yen lower. Euro yen has been very hectic. I mean, come on. 54, 18 the high last night. I mean, what the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, you know, I was talking with it, just as an aside, I was talking with some guys last night at the close, and one of the patterns now that we see uh, within foreign exchange and we were questioning is it because the liquidity is all algorithmically driven is it or why is this happening but the moves are happening they're all being delayed now so this this last night's move is a perfect example bonds are through the roof Powell's pretty dovish Normally, it would be a very straightforward risk-off, dollar-yen sale, equities are plunging, 100 handles, and yet dollar-yen just hangs around, hangs around, hangs around, goes back up to 66, closes at 49, mumble, whatever, um, and then a day later, or, you know, 12 hours later, we finally uh, make the sensible move. I don't know why I'm mentioning this. It sounds like I'm just being a baby and whining a bit, but um, it's just to say that uh, you know a lot of us are frustrated with the price action, with the liquidity, and how things react. Uh, it's time to just shut up and realize that things have changed a little bit and you have to trade accordingly you know it's evolve or die is kind of the way FX works or way that all of trading works and the way price translates story has changed so just recognize it and adapt all right I don't know why I went there today and I don't know why I'm telling this sermon it sounds like I'm talking to myself uh, I guess I'm also talking to you guys. I will leave it at that. Uh, core short dollar yen. Core long euros. Euro is not a tradable long. It's just sit long. We add through 114.40. Dollar yen is a tradable short down here. Good luck, people.